Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and Lee. I'm glad to see you. How's everybody's week? How's everybody been? Wonderful. Been wonderful. Been yeah. great. Been great. Good. You're doing great. You're doing yeah. great. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Yeah. We just celebrated the independence of this country, America, yeah. recently. We did it. Um, Go team. Our independence to fuck up. Where we are now, fireworks are legal. So Walmart was just a mad dash to go get big giant boxes of fireworks for 250 bucks. The biggest one I saw was 250 bucks. Wow, Lee, for one? Uh, oh, for, for one box. box. Oh, I thought yes. you just meant for How big is this box? Like... It was about as tall as Kevin. Ooh. Yeah. So Ooh, that's play. as high as those fireworks go, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that the, the box is representative of how high up in the sky those those go. Two hundred and fifty dollars. So I I was there just getting like a bread or like some buns or something, you know. And they were right near the produce. Actually, mm-hmm. it was just a stack of all different various size boxes of fireworks. We went there inside the grocery store, inside Walmart. Yes, yes, oh, that's right. Inside, the, but they usually were, in those they're usually there in those tents. That are outside. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have those now, too. Like, growing up in Southern California, that was no big thing. I saw them my whole life. Right. You know, it was every every uh, couple weeks before the 4th, you would see all the tents pop up, all the boop. Yeah, it was either a house was being bombed because they had the big tent around it, or because <laughs> they look the same. The, you know, it's the same kind of uh, parasol. Yeah, for, for, uh, so. well, it's the same Infestations. Company. It probably is the same company. They probably <laughs> used the same shit in the fireworks, <laughs> Yeah, you want one of these snakes? Yeah, that's great. It's leftover cyanide. It's whatever. expired, whatever. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, rat poison flakes. Yeah, they do that when you set them on fire. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Awesome. That's what I couldn't find, though, were the snakes. I, I I don't think you can buy snakes anymore. Those black snakes, yeah. the ones with the little tabs? Yeah. And just light and them. They just light just... up. I think it's some kind of, like, carbonate, you know, that expands when it gets heated. Um, but it doesn't go out very easy, so there's like too much of a fire. Hazard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sparklers, though, plenty of those. Oh, I just got <laughs> some sparklers for this. Yeah, fourth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So did you light them all up already? Oh, uh, like three boxes. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I nice. saw at few. once. I'm gonna at snag once. a few when nice. I leave today. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, you know, we should just light one every few minutes while we're doing the show. See how long we can last. Yeah. You know. See who passes out first. Right. Good monoxide. Ooh. I didn't, is that the secret ingredient? Uh, uh, one of the, one of many. Cool. One of many. Nice. Don't eat them. Don't eat them. Why not? First hand experience. It tastes like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else causes sparks? Though you know what else can cause sparks? What? What? Romance. Romance can cause sparks. Ooh. Ooh. I, you know, I mean. Cue Barry White music. <laughs> baby, I wanna date you baby that was elvis do it again swiping right to you baby <laughs> that was jim morrison do it again i don't know would that be jim morrison today i don't think he'd even care about dating it like jim morrison today he'd be like i'm not on social media baby <laughs> <laughs> you won't catch me on twitter no but dating man dating can can be fun yeah, you, you know. can definitely see the fireworks <laughs> <laughs> you can cause some fireworks you can make some you could have some fizzle. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, they'll fizzle if you shoot fireworks at them. As far as I can tell. I mean, some of us, it, it, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's the fizzle proof. It's, it's mostly fizzle. Fishes. Some of us mostly fizzle, and 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 uh, sometimes you know we find someone. It's it happens, uh, but it's never like a walk in the park. It's never easy. No, <laughs> you know? you ain't kidding. I mean, I'm I'm di- I'm divorced. Mm-hmm. And I started dating, I don't know, like maybe four or five weeks after I separated. Because okay. it was like 11 years. You know? mm-hmm. Hey, whatever. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm cut off from this shit. Yeah. Yeah, you got to see what else is happening. All, all done, you know. So what kind of new advancements have been made in the realm of dating? Right. Sure. <laughs> and it's terrifying. Uh, you know, online dating, just it's bizarre. It's a bizarre f- platform. I mean use old everybody uses old pictures right you know um or their descriptions aren't the people or you you know they're outright liars i've been a liar i lied oh no i've done yeah i did i I did some heinous shit come on jay okay let me tell you about the most heinous thing i ever did uh this one gal her profile uh very very attractive woman um 
and it said, you know, activities, uh, you know, a lot of sports, uh, but tennis was the top one. Sure. And in the description, it even said, uh, you know, I'm really looking for a tennis partner, so, you know, if you play, mm-hmm. <laughs> I play. I play well. Oh. I play really well. Good news. And then I went and bought a racket, and we met. Yeah. And I don't, I don't play. I don't play. Right. <laughs> Don't were play. you able to fudge the fact that you were uh, not a good tennis player? Oh, no. No, I got smoked, um, you know, netted the ball a lot, and uh, <laughs> came over and she's oh, like, you don't, you don't play a lot, do you? I, like, I don't play. I don't play. You can teach? You want to teach? Yeah. You teach? No. Talk about it over dinner? She's like, no way. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Oh. So that was like one of the early dates. I'm like, ah. Did you return that racket? I Can't didn't. You know, I kept racket. it. I kept it as like a kind of a punishment, and uh, <laughs> you know what you did. It was, right. a, it was a rejection <laughs> notice on the wall. Sat in the closet, uh, you know, in the corner. I could still see it mm-hmm. in the morning. Like, oh, God, man, don't lie, don't lie. Right. You know, another another one. Uh, I liked this one. She was really cool, and uh, we we're about the same age, and we had like a weird first date. We we. Grab a little lunch and uh, talk to me. Took our sandwiches to the park and uh, uh, a vagrant came up to us with a pencil in his hand, menacingly. Yeah. Basically saying, like, stay away from my stuff. He had, like, all of his stuff, you know, on a bench next to us. Oh. And then he, like, put the pencil to his neck, to which I started to stand up because I was waiting for, like, either him to puncture himself or try to puncture one of us. Right. And she's like, no, please, please don't get up. Please don't. And the guy, like, walks away. We take her sandwiches and leave. She was cool, though. And then she stopped seeing me for a little bit. And she's like, I, you know, I, I can't see you for a while. Yeah. And I, So I called her, like, a week later. I was like, hey, what's going on? Sure. And she's like, oh, you know, I have really bad migraines. And um, my dog was telling me last night how to, like, remedy this and i'm like okay what did you say you mean you mean your good friend your dog <laughs> like your partner <laughs> your thelma uh this this woman had two dogs mm-hmm. she was a i mean i love my dogs i love dogs dogs are great yeah she loved her dogs a lot like she loved her dogs more than anything on this fucking earth and yeah my dog said to me she repeated that line I'm like I-, I gotta go i gotta go I gotta go. Never talk to her again. Why? Look, I already suspected the reason she wouldn't see you is because it was a full moon. So right. she's a werewolf. Right. So this is just lending more credence to that argument. She couldn't smell the, the lupus guru on me, but, I mean, because I am a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah, sorry. It's a fact. Lupine. Yeah. Every full moon, I just disappear. That's true. I've never seen you next to a full moon. I mean, it's usually... Uh, and Popeyes has ninety nine cent wings, right? <laughs> Just fucking eating the shit. Oh, <laughs> more biscuits! Come on, <laughs> that's me. I'm trying to cough up the biscuit. Oh, <laughs> too dry, too dry. They, they, those biscuits can be goddamn dry. They're, yeah, they're, they're soda biscuits. Yeah, the they used to be good. They used to be good. Yeah, I don't, well, Burger King bought them. And that sucks. Because their biscuits were pretty good, god damn it. KFC used to be good. Sometimes they could be really good. Sometimes they could be very hard. Now, now, Just like dating. Right. Just like dating. Just like dating. And and regardless of your bank account or, or of your status, there's many people in the world who have it made in spades, though. You know, it's easy. It's uh, easier for some than others, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there, there's a, yeah, they say there's always someone for everyone, right? Yeah, I've heard it. I mean, it's one in the quarter of everyone <laughs> for someone. Well, like you know, not to dive too deep in in Kevin, but like Kevin has like a beautiful relationship. You have like a really nice, happy relationship. I'm sure they fight really well. Yeah, we're like pros, very constructive. I'm playing Pie Cross. I want to yeah. play Fortnite, you know. And then <laughs> like Ke- Kevin just puts the controller away. Just, I'm done. Or wait, no, he takes the switch in the other room yeah <laughs> stops playing on the big tv and then she plays fortnite on the playstation see it's it, there's a compromise That's you cool. didn't want to go upstairs right but i did but it. you did it, I did it you did love. it right and yeah, you, just, you did it right see and that's nice that's good 
It's yeah. fantastic. Thank you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> that was uh, one of the driving factors in the Switch. But where, do, where does that leave us without any such fortune, though? You know, like, we're, maybe I find someone who likes Pie Cross just as much as you. Yeah. And then, like, I'm like, I don't like Pie Cross. I like Sudoku, but, you know, I like Crypto Quotes. Oh, Jesus. And then she's like, well, your friend Kevin. Yeah. You know, and then I have to, like, try to live to a higher standard, and it's tough. Yeah, you've got to bring me a higher love. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try bringing you a higher love. I, I think that you've just solved my dilemma. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. I'm going to apply this. Well, but, sounds but, like I've got my own spinoff podcast coming up. <laughs> love Spoilers. with Kev Bo. But who do, who does that leave us to be chosen by or or chosen amongst? You know, like the, I mean, there's that whole weird, always alone incel bullshit, right? Oh, that's yeah. happening now. Yeah. Where, What's this? I'm sorry. Oh, the uh, incels uh, involuntarily involuntarily celibate, right? And that's, yes, yeah, that's yeah. Correct. And these guys, uh, they like label um, jock types as they call them chads. Chads. And then uh, uh, there's another, like, I don't know if there's another one, but... There's, like, an offshoot of Chads that are Brads. Oh, uh, and those are, like, the yuppie kind? Yeah, of, I think so. Right, oh, yeah. so... And these guys are, like, total misogynists, and they wonder why women won't date them or, what, you know, they don't want to talk to them. And, mm. and then they blame everyone else, like, these Chads and Brads and the women themselves... Right, there's Stacy's. Stacy's. What, what about uh, the Tads and the Fads? I don't, uh, I don't know, man. This is different degrees. Uh, we're we're going way too high here. Like I don't even know. <laughs> uh, you know, there's probably a fucking color scale after names. So who who knows? But these guys, yeah, they they blame everyone else, and they're they're crude, and they they dox women, and like they're part of the Gamergate shit. You know, do you remember that? Where yeah. Yeah, you know, they started doxing these uh, reporters for you know video games and and game developers and very toxic. Behavior. Yeah, totally, man, yeah, awful. Very toxic, you know. But there's that kind of mentality and group out there, you know. And then there's other people that just never really seem to jive with whoever they meet. You know, it just happens. I mean, Weird I house. yeah, I dated for a long time and then I stopped because I met some real fucking weirdos. Yeah, you know? like some real. Toxic, harmful people that... Was it Britney Spears? I noticed you're saying toxic a lot. Similar. Okay. No, that was me. I was watching Toxic Avenger trilogy. Think, think Britney Spears at the head shaving. Yeah. Um, Umbrella poking incident. Uh, that. And, and that moment for a whole year. Ooh, love that. Without shaving the head. Oh, that was the best part. She's so aerodynamic. A couple of bad haircuts. <laughs> really bad haircuts. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. Should have just broken up over the haircut. <laughs> Fuck my shit up. Yeah, I should have been, like, more superficial, like, looking back, I guess. Sure. But I'm not. You know? I, I give everyone a chance. Uh, Are you a nice guy? I... I uh, yeah, is that what it is? A nice guy? Nice I'm guys. a nice guy. I never oh. get a chance. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Always finishing last. I'm a nice guy. No, I'm not a, I'm not a nice guy. I'm, Pick up my new single. I'm a human. You know, everyone's a human. I mean, regardless of our genitalia, we're all human beings. I can't just say that all women do one thing and all men do one thing. Because I'm not going to stereotype a, a gender. Right. Can't generalize. No. You know, um, I mean... In America, the ritual of dating can be described by many things, as many things by many people. Really, you know, there could be, um, you know, the, the the bar guy, <laughs> you know, the guy who who tries to pick up every chick at the bar. Oh well, yeah. Hey, what's your name? Just casts a really wide net. Hope for the best. He's out there fishing in the sea. Whoosh, poo, ah, ploop. Did it loop. hurt, baby? Did it hurt? Hey, did you just fall? Because you're an angel from hell, or whatever that fucking stupid dumb line is, or whatever. Like, did you? Did it hurt when you fell? Yeah. Did it hurt? Did it hurt when when you fell from heaven? And that's when I like push a beer bottle into his ear, like <laughs> oh. all the way into his ear. Are you a magician? And uh, yeah, that's a good way to pick up the ladies. It is because then when he falls screaming, I'll be like, "You're welcome," and then I'm leaving. Nice. I'm leaving because. <laughs> Because like you can't, when you when you shove a beer bottle in someone's ear like that, yeah. you gotta leave, right? Because yeah, everyone else fast. wants to know how the magic trick was done. 
Hey, and gonna, who, we gonna take it out? And who did it? And who did it? He just made a whodunit for the whole night. That's why he always wears gloves. Yeah, I don't need a murder mystery night to do to figure. And you know, nobody needs that. I do. I just shove a beer bottle in some idiot's ear, <laughs> and uh, I, everybody else can figure it out. I done it. And just disappear in the shadows like tuxedo mask. Uh, I mean, there's. I, I hate bars. I didn't. I didn't date at bars. I don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't drink anymore. Right. So, um, actually, around that point, it was kind of tipsy turvy. I wasn't drinking when yeah. I first started, and then you know I met trouble and started drinking some, and then every girl after that was just like. Roller coaster, you know, like sure a vomit because I drank a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> like one of them gave me a beer in the shower once. Shower beers, shower beers. Okay, so what? What's your opinion on shower beers? Do you like shower beers? I like a good shower beer. When okay, it's nice and hot, and I've got like a cold, refreshing beer. I'm about that. Okay, mm-hmm. so like, is it a, an occasional thing? Oh or yeah, it's, like, not, it's on not the not way like to work, a, like oh. when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, how else am I supposed to deal with work? I need to get in a better mood. Hold on. <laughs> so, like those like winter ales. So you get a nice hot shower, cold winter ale, a little pumpkin, a little spice, a little yeah, just some like a nice little flavor. I don't know. I don't worry about it too much. Hey, hun, give me some milled cider. I mean, I've gotten the shower really stoned and then forgot to like wash. Okay. You know, so I don't know how a shower beer would affect me. I don't know because I, I mean, I remember drinking some of it. But I was like, man, I'm. I'm trying to get clean. I don't want to like, drink beer. Oh, you just it, you gotta take your time. If you're like one of those people who take like a really long shower, it's a great thing. But it's gotta be really, really ice cold because after a while it gets too warm. Yeah, it's yeah, just weird. It. Like yeah. you're showering and you think that you, the, the the temperature of the beer is what you're feeling. Yeah, it's weird. It's bad. Or the beach shower, maybe, or pool shower. Ooh. You know, uh-huh. it's like being pissed on. Sauna beer. Never had that. That would be okay. Maybe. That'd be good for like five minutes. I feel sauna like pitcher. Get dehydrated quick. No, you would need a camelback if you're going to go in the sauna. I, no, I want... The camelback won't be affected. No, I want to see my beard, you know, the the pitcher dripping. You want to see it be The condensation beating, beating up. I just, love to just watch it drip. Mm. People are upset with the smell. And this is why I couldn't get a good date, because <laughs> I talk about that kind of shit. You know, I'm like, do you like that condensation? Let me tell you how condensation forms. And then I just go on, and then all of a sudden I'm like, and this is the Weather Channel app I have. Mm-hmm. Then she evaporates. And she wasn't there anymore. Yeah, she's gone. I don't feel so good. She had left like an hour at that point. It was, uh... <laughs> you just like talking to the I waiter. noticed. I just figured people would like to listen to me talk. <laughs> but, you know, do we, do we be monogamous? You know, I mean, are we in the dating world, you know? Do you stay monogamous, or do you... I mean, if you really like someone, maybe that, that, that's kind of my my style, right? You know, mm-hmm. if I like subsequent date, mm-hmm. and then it's kind of leads into like hanging out a lot, yeah. Then I'm I'm good, sure. You know, I got caught once. Oh, yeah, I did, I did, because uh, it was early in a relationship, and uh, some things were happening, and mm-hmm. then I got a text from one that like ghosted me, yeah. And I really just kind of wanted to know what was going on, but then she started getting into like, you know, we should just hook up. Nice. And I was like, uh, oh. And uh, and I wrote like, uh, you know, are you seeing anybody? She's like, you know, because I saw you with uh, some some girl, oh. you know, and uh, you guys together. I was like, well, you know, and I wrote to the girl I was seeing. Yeah. It was nothing serious. Was, you know, we are just kind of um, seeing each other. Yeah. But some shit had gone down that was kind of serious. So yeah. it was kind of like, hey, what the fuck? Dude, that's what basically you know on her end. It was yeah. like, what the fuck, dude. Like, and yeah, it, it, you know, there was a moment. There was a moment, and luckily, you know, things were were okay after that. But just a little bump on the road. Yeah, because yeah, Speed yeah, bump ahead. Not a very nice one. I'm not going to say it was a good one. You no. know, but no, I mean, shit like that happens. You know, uh. And that girl's complete, complete weirdo. There's still like, I don't know. I'm about to deactivate Facebook, but there's still a, a request from her, Ooh. a friend request from that one. You know, like, what the hell? She just wants to make it Facebook official. I guess so. Homeboy's gonna keep reminding you. <clears throat> Pending friend request. But yeah, do we do you know? Do we stay monogamous until we're married, or if there's like you have a kid together, 
or you know something like that you know or until the end of time forever whatever that is what is forever i don't know that's a long time i've been counting since i was born i still haven't got to the end oh you're still counting now yes that's why you tap your feet all the time yeah uh i have a really good rhythm now all a dot is is an infinite look down a line and rhythm is a dancer the rhythm is gonna get you (laughs) oh shit watch out get my cardboard you know but it's it's tough to get to that that next step in a relationship where you where you get married or what you even want to do like you know i'm divorced i don't really want to get married again Mm -hmm. you know i'm i love the one i'm with but it's tough you know i just heard that song again today I heard it. I heard it a few days ago in the gas station. So um, <laughs> then I thought of the crappy Alien movie. Uh, Alien. Uh, what was the one with? Uh, uh, crap. With uh, Edris Moms. Edris Alba. Alien Covenant. No, Alien. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Was it Covenant? I don't no, know. Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah, Prometheus. Yeah, because he's playing the squeeze box and mm. yeah, love the one you're with. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, we have some familiarity with da- dating, you know. Sure, and yeah. Lee Noble, you were, in the, you were in the dating arena a while ago. You know? Yeah, it didn't last long. It, it, it could be a chore. It could be a chore. I, I met a girl once. Before we go on, let me just, I met a girl once. Yeah. I contacted her. Okay. Okay, I swiped right or whatever. You, know? you did it. I did it. I figured it out. I figured out, like, I can't just look. I got to, like, do something. I got to swipe. Yeah. Okay. You're just like staring at like the same one. I'm old. I'm an old man. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I'm not hip with this technology. I I just made an Instagram years ago. You know, like Ooh. at this point, I I was b- behind the game. Right. Oh, here. By the way, here's your calcium. Right. Thank you. And my Centrum Silver. I no, need you that. Took that this morning. Right. See? No. I only take one now, or my pee smells weird. <sighs> that what that is? It's How's yeah. It? Well, since I'm old, I'm also just getting ahead of it wearing the uh, undergarment. Ooh. So which, don't... Which, don't. Which one? The one that seals in all the juice. Oh, Spanx. Yeah. Spanx, man. Mm. I want to stay thin, trim. I want to look... I want to look good. Yeah. You know? I'm going to go just, out. Not just for women. But this gal, I, I contacted her, agreed to meet her after work for some coffee. Mm-hmm. Go to the coffee place way the fuck out my way. Yeah. Like... It's a good 45 minutes from my office. That's a jaunt. Okay. Get there. Meet her. She's the first thing she says. Wow, I'm surprised that you came. And I said, why? Because I'm fat. And I was like, well, okay. Do you mean P-H-A-T? Is this a test? No, she literally said that to me. And then as we got to talking, uh, found out that she had a baby six weeks ago. Oh. Still living with her ex-husband. They're not divorced. They just split up after the baby was born oh shit and uh i was like wow um i'm gonna get another coffee do you want anything she's like oh one of those cookies up front would be great and i was like okay and i go get a cookie and i get my coffee and i tell the guy do you have a back door (laughs) he's like what i was like dude i know you have a delivery door I'm going to give you like 20 bucks. I will give you this cookie. <laughs> and I'm going to pay her tab and, and a cookie and a coffee for me. And I'll give you $20. You let me out the back door. And he did. Wow. And I left her there. Wow. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want to face that. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to like make anything up. Right. I just want to get out. Wow. That's a first. It's a first. That's a deep, deep confession here on The Weird and the Weary. Thank you for joining us with that. So I, 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 what happens to me? I go to Scotland. What no. did you What did you do in Scotland? I took part in a traditioning, a tradition called the blackening. What? No, what? I I didn't. What are you I, talking about, Willis? That yeah, that 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 date at the coffee shop shook me so bad. I had to go partake in the blackening. Okay. I didn't. No, I didn't go to Scotland. It's but. too late. I already. <laughs> it's in my head. Oh, you already. You think I'm there? Like. Continue the narrative. Playing the bagpipes, just puffing out black smoke. Yeah, that shit looks dope. Dancing in it. Yeah. And then I soot myself up. And no, that's that's not it. Uh, <laughs> there is a tradition, though. It's called the blackening. Okay, go on. And uh, they force you to listen to Public Enemy. You got to drink barley wine and uh, you jump on a trampoline. Ooh. That's, 
Because you get all black because you get all bruised as well, you that, fall off. That's what Lee Noble Da-da. showed me Da-da. Yeah, last weekend. He showed he was I like, did Look. research. I told him about it. He's like, check this out, the blackening. And I'm like, well, I think that happened at Conception. But no, he showed me the actual blackening, Public Enemy, the whole album. He has good cardio, man. He, he could bounce on the trampoline while drinking. No, I'm just kidding. That's, he, that's not it either. It's, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Well, what what the blackening really is? They they get like a a whole bunch of debris, like tar, feathers, and 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 shit, and and then they 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 dump it on a couple that's about to be wed. No, is it actual shit, or you mean just like shit in general? Well, because I don't think it's actual shit. That is, that would suck. Who knows? Who knows how the officiating, uh, you know, uh, uh, Scots- priest Scotsman felt that morning yeah, blood sausage and poop sausage right mm, you know yes. good hearty breakfast i mean just throw it in there who cares they're just gonna wash it off beans and eggs mm. Jeez, i love it i ate one once it filled me up for like four days bangers and mash i ate the whole thing i ate all of it i ate the sausage the tiger toast the, the big thick slab bacon What's tiger toast tiger toast it's basically just grilled toast with lines so it has the line marks gotcha. in it. Line, uh, lines of Coke. Right, like like a tiger on coke. coke. Yeah, you got to get the energy to power through the rest of the breakfast. <laughs> they get crunchy. No, no, that's why they, they do give coke. you Red Bull. They give you Red Bull. <laughs> Gives you wings to fly away from that trampoline. <laughs> I mean, there could be shit. I don't know if there's shit in it. There might be. I hope not. That's terrible. But they dump it all over them. And and then they just fuel them up with alcohol. They get, they, they get them drunk. And uh, they should get them drunk before, I think. But no, no, they do get them drunk before. Oh, it's before. Yeah. So they should, they should always do that because I mean that's the only way you're going to get shit dumped on you willingly is you got to be fucking. Hey, tanked. don't do that! Oh, you did that! I can't believe you've done this. Drink. Dr- we can't be friends anymore. This is like the thing where they pour Gatorade on the coach. Am I just it's the reverse? Okay. Pre- yeah, like say they like. No, it's actually no. It's in the vein. Yeah. It's in the yeah. Vein. Okay. Okay. Except like all the players, like get in the huddle stance and then yeah. they urinate on them. Because you've seen that movie, right? Uh, 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 what was that with Goldie Hawn? Remember she? That was. This doesn't sound like it already. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> Wildcats. <laughs> I think it was. It wasn't then Kurt Russell like shit on her wild, chest or it was something. Like meet the Wildcats or some stupid yeah. shit. Yeah, and they huddle. Add it to the list. <laughs> That's not really what happened, uh, but it's it's not even <laughs> close. But uh, yeah, so then they they make them drink more and they they parade them around town. And uh, look at these drunk idiots all covered in shit. They're getting married. Yeah. Pretty much, and if you could last through that, I mean, really, it's like, oh, you you smell. Yeah, I'm not. Ah, uh, I'm going home. Nope, not doing this. All right, so it sounds like just like a bachelor party gone off the rails. Pretty much, that okay. was like mine. I shit myself though. Oh, you know, it was pretty you bad. Did it. And I woke up on stairs. That hurt. Going up or down? In the middle. I was just lying. I was slept on the stairs. Wildcats. Wildcats. She didn't get she didn't get the golden shower, but her name is Goldie. Ooh, and she's seventy three years old. God bless her. Mind she sneeze? <laughs> yeah, she did. I just heard it <laughs> across the world. She's in Africa right now. Now, now in China, uh, where st- where there's a star crossed tale of two lovers who went against the will of their families so they could be together. Oh yeah, I heard this story. Well, yeah, it was a Jet Li movie, like yes. with one of the arrows. Yeah. yeah, hero, hero, right? And he's not even the main guy. He just like they rush him on that movie. Well, he he blocks the arrows and then he doesn't because he's like I'm Obi Wan. That's basically the vibe I got. I'll take it for yeah. you. Go go have sex, kids. I'll take these arrows. I don't need to block them this time. Pierce or me. did he walk in them? Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. No, no. It wasn't those star-crossed lovers, though. It wasn't oh. that, not that movie, no. Uh, nope. It was um, a little bit happier. Oh, good. Uh, in, in China, the Sisters Meals Festival, it's the oldest Asian Valentine's Day celebrated. 
and it's celebrated by the the uh, meow meow meow. That sounds. I think it's meow. Meow, uh, the Meow minority people in China. They're located in the southwest region, in the uh, Guizhou province. And uh, days before the celebration, Meow girls, not Hello Kitty, but Meow girls, they, they, they collect wildflowers and leaves from the mountains so they can make colorful dyes for their rice, known as sister's rice. Oh, that sounds yeah. lovely. Not like the uh, mm. the saffron rice you can get at... Like, you know, Mexican plays. Sounds like My Little Pony rice. This is sister's rice. Right. This is some, like, weird shit that, like, people just throw at weddings, it sounds like, you know. But, no. This is sister's rice. And it's it's steamed in a delightful, colorful mix of blue, pink, yellow, and white. I don't know why you need more white on rice. But it represents the four seasons. Can you guess which they are? Doesn't matter. Captain Planet will come no matter what. Doesn't matter. He's going to show up. rice. (laughs) <laughs> He's just going to show up and be like, oh, oh, this again? This fucking shit. You need more green. Broccolis. Ugh. Blah. Nah. Now, in some areas, the blue rice has a more violet hue. Just, Ooh. you know, it's region regional. It's oh. regional setting. Sure. You know, so some flowers are more more violet. Others are more... You're turning violet, violet. <laughs> and then periwinkle. Periwinkle's big. Periwinkle blue. And now the Mao girls, they, they dress... Uh, in silver from head to toe. It's like a headdress, necklaces, rings, like, I don't know, like, think of like Princess Amadala with a little bit of RuPaul. Okay. Ooh. More RuPaul. Rock. Damn. Amadala. Yeah. Th- that's impressive. Some fabulous shit going on here. Fabulous. And uh, just exotic all the way down, you know, just head to toe, just like and then me playing the bagpipes doing the blackening. Yeah, that's on cool. them. The blackening. I I just imagine you like dancing in a circle like strafing around. I do. And yeah. I'm like the blackening. Or whatever a uh, bagpipe sounds like. It is time for the blackening. The blackening. Blackening, you know, and then the, I get arrested again. So they can't catch it. And that's well, why we can't finish an episode. What, you guys think a fucking bagpipe is light? No, man. That thing weighs about like 15, fucking 20 10 pounds. stone, man. Bro, fill it full of helium. <laughs> fly away in your dreams. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. See, it would ruin my whole tempo. Remember me. <laughs> now, the, the Mao people, they believe the silver dispels evil spirits. So werewolves, vampires, they ain't getting a date. They ain't getting shit. They ain't getting no fucking rice. That's smart. Especially you, Jay. Listen, man. You big wool lupine. Look, I've cut down my rice consumption anyway, so I don't give a fuck. And a vampire, they're just like, oh, colors, no. <laughs> I'm not eating. Wait, I don't even eat that. Is that what a vampire would sound like? Uh, Yeah, I think so. They're like in true blood, though, right? He was like, <laughs> I will, I'd eat that rice. I'm, I'm Bill Vampire. I... <laughs> I remember. It's okay. Come Make here. me some of that long grain. Suck okay, it. Come here. Listen to me. Make me some of that Uncle Ban's. See, I'm sticking on the blackening. So it's like. What about Lafayette? Does that have a black guy on it? I thought that has. Lafayette like... was a black dude. Oh, I thought you were talking about rice. Because there's in there like a brand. I don't know. Uncle Ben? Yeah, he's black. That's what I said. Uncle Ben and, Lafayette. The, and the dude on the uh, cream, he was... cream of wheat box. Oh, who is that? His name's Cream. <laughs> Creamy. No, no, no. His name is Wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wheat. Oh. Wheat, Wheat. Wheat Wheatley. I just <laughs> looked it up. His name is Wheat Wheatley. That's the guy in the Cream of Wheat box. He's a minister. Someone's not eating that Cream of Wheat right now. They're <laughs> stopping. I actually like Cream of Wheat. I, I love know. Cream of Wheat. A little butter and some maple syrup. It's really good. I'm not sure about right. I do butter. Maybe just a little bit of milk. Just a tad. And then brown sugar. Oh, or like, you know, a splash of like half and half actually makes it like. Oh, man, we're going, past, we're going way past. I'm getting hungry now. Hurry up. Let's finish this shit. I'm not <laughs> if only I had Four Seasons Rice. Right. If we had that, we'd be great. Um, we'd be all set. And we'd actually have dates for the prom. We'd have Ooh, dates for the prom. We we'd would. be all set. We'd have date for the prom if we had the sister's rice in our pocket. So the young men, no werewolves, no vampires, they uh, they arrive 
and they single out the women they wish to have as their bride. Oh. I mean, it's straightforward shit. Just you know, it's like speed dating in yeah. America, except this is like tastier. Eh, yeah, the color of your rice. It's kind of like my mom's. Yeah, that's great. She, you know, she wears like a you know like a chemise like that, and that's uh, more like a shawl, really. But you know, mm-hmm. um, yeah, okay, I'll go with you. That's okay. that's basically how it breaks down. I okay. think. Uh, yeah, I have zero knowledge on the subject, and I believe you. I believe that he has a PhD in that. And then the uh, what I just said, how I just said that, you know, the little banter there, they sing that, actually. Ooh. Yeah, they sing that to the women uh, in an antiphonal sound. So, they actually, the way I just said is probably how they sing it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, your rice is like my mother's, and I want to... Put it in my pocket, and, and I like rice in my pocket. Put the rice in my pocket and do the black ending! The black ending! See, it works. It worked. So they're just out here freestyling at these girls trying to find dates for the prom? That's right. right. And I, they have I, to answer their questions Yeah, and sing song. Yeah, during this song, they're, they're, the song is uh, improvised questions. Here, here's here's an example. So like she's like, "Do you want to have children?" And he'd be like, "I want to have children. I do, but with you, I would have to." You know, <laughs> right. shit like Love that. that. <laughs> one guy's like, "But not me. I just want to drop my goo." <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, he has lung capacity." But she's like, "I'm not talking to you, but I may be interested." <laughs> <laughs> my sister too. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's 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 a little you know back and forth. They they ask questions, they they answer them. And it's all singing and and uh, joyful. And if they can't answer the questions, they lose. You know, and they got to give gifts, and vice versa. If the women's you know the women can't answer, mm-hmm. they got to give a gift. It's no, no, like, no, no, no. If the women if the women are happy with the answer the men give them, they give them a gift. Oh, yes. It's like. Pokemon battles. If you Pokemons. lose, you got to give over. Give right, because he's not asking stuff. questions. He's answering the questions that she's giving him. Right. So if she's happy with the answer, that she gives him the gift. Musical interviews. Right. And as we go on, I'm sure they'll start doing like Pokemon gym battles. Yeah. Or whatever that Pokemon Go thing is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Definitely. Go, go, Power Rangers. No. Oh, wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> the legend behind this is. Uh, Foggy Bottom. Uh, the reason it's through song. Is that uh, two sisters? Um, they have a son and a daughter who grow up together, so they're cousins. Mm-hmm. Okay? And they have a little sweet childhood and friendship. You know, sure. some cousins get along great. Yeah, you know, uh, cousin of mine took my hamburger when I was four, mm. and I'm still mad at him. Wow, that's death sentence shit. I mean, this was like an '80s McDonald's hamburger. So it was fried in like lard. Yeah, you know, and like extra sugar in the bread you know this is some good shit this is some like primo fucking mcdonald's you know right. like you can't get that you, nobody uses lard in their burgers anymore <laughs> what if you bring their own supplies there will they use them for you no i tried <laughs> it would foul their griddle they said i got arrested i was trying to do the blackening first <laughs> thinking that doing the blackening my style of blackening right yeah you don't start with the blackening you just ask if you can use lard Catch, gotcha. patch yeah. this shit into the PA system for me, please. Now, White Castle, they might use lard, I hope. I hope you guys use lard. No, they just use depression. It's super effective. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> just eat 10 of these. You won't feel so bad after. Lard just has a bad name. Lard is great. Lard's awesome. Lard is terrible. Lard is just amazing. Is no, it's fucking amazing. It's lard great. Ass. Fuck, fuck shortening. Use lard. Sh- Fry your chicken in lard. Delicious. Don't bring your shortening to my blackening. <laughs> Pop your popcorn in lard. <laughs> Cover it. Brought to you by the Lard Foundation. <laughs> Fuck coconut oil. I said Lard Foundation. <laughs> coconut lard. Now these two cousins, uh, as they get older, you know, things kind of stir up in their bellies. Ew. You ever see the Blue Lagoon? First cousins. No. Well, they grow up and fall in love. A kiss and cousins? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, where, where I went to high school, that was kind of common. 
you know, I think there's a lot of brother sister stuff happening Ooh. too. Yeah. You know, I don't pry. It just happens out in the open. I don't know. Can't can't really judge too much. It's too late. I'm judging like crazy. Okay. It's okay. I ain't judge Judy. And uh you know, the girl's parents insist that she marry her uncle's son. Oh, isn't that make it the brother? Which is it's it's the meow tradition. Okay, you gotta do this. You gotta do this tradition. You have to marry this person. Boom. You got it. Done. I pick you. We're married. Boom. Wow. Kevin, we're married now. See, I'm going by Mao tradition. I'm That's sorry. fine. 2019 Mao tradition. Gone. I put out Done. for the black. I'm man. ordained too. So you know what? what? We're married. Actually, side note: the actually younger generations of Meow do not agree with that now. Well, they're fools. I can make a lot of money off this. Just be like, you're married. The millennials. Done. You know what? Her question was stupid. Done. You know, just whisper in his ear, but you're married anyway. Ordained. Oh, drop the mic on him. <laughs> Swish. You know, like, I don't know. Nice. I, I'm in a different country. I have to reinvent myself. <laughs> Start that. <laughs> Swish. That's cool. Start just saying that everywhere. You know, cup of coffee, two sugar. <laughs> Swish. Swish. No, you made the wrong noise. It's <laughs> two weeks later. I'm hanging Loop from it. a rafter somewhere. <laughs> Swish. Swish. <laughs> Forget that, man. Forget that. But, I mean, I guess, it, you know, I'd have to re- I would start the swish thing if, if somebody said I'd marry my cousin. Because I saw my cousin naked once when I was like 11. Mm-hmm. That was bizarre. I believe and that. And eye-opening. And then, you know, it's like, no, it's weird. It's kind of weird. Yeah. You know, there's like distant blood running through us. <laughs> you know? <laughs> there's, and we don't need to make that distant blood any closer. <laughs> and then I close the door. You know, it was like... It's probably a good move. Yeah. Did I like, open yeah. the door one more time, and then I close it? Well, no, that was just five minutes of me staring. She's like, close the fucking door! And I'm just like... I'm having an internal dilemma! There's distant blood between us. Close the door. <laughs> oh, I love that. You didn't see anything. That's my pickup line. You're right. And then my gremlin took me home. Ooh. And I never saw any of them again. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe we just had no distant blood. I, I could have been wrong. Yeah, well, that's why she didn't want to see you again. She's like, there was no distant blood. It was too close. But this girl, she refused her cousin. Good on her. Hooray. She didn't want anybody else either, though. Except her other cousin. So, uh, you know, to avoid some wandering eyes, uh, the childhood friends, you know, the cousins, Mm -hmm. uh, they meet outdoors with the girl bringing some delicious rice with a bamboo basket for needle and thread. Sure. That makes sense mm-hmm. to me. So they do little um, needle point samples. You know, like, uh, like a tree or like some word art, live, laugh, love. I thought they were just pricking their fingers and just... Oh, like blood, yeah. blood cousining? Blood well, cousining. Oh, like, oh, there's going to be a thicker blood between us. Thicker. Right. And, you know, like... No, they were just fixing each other's clothes. Oh, it's your stairs. turn to learn. <laughs> Here, let me take your clothes off and mend them. This is our special stitch. Let it's me show you. It's a cousin thing. It's a cousin thing. That's cool. You have cousins. We all have cousins. Yeah. We I, all do that. I saw them when I was like eight. Right. Like, let me put my hands in your pockets. You know, you're like, come here and threat me with your needle. <laughs> That's an uncle usually. You found the hole in my pocket so fast. Come to the garage so I can show you how to thread a needle. Son, oh, you know, oh. like your uncle calls you son because he's really your dad. Wow, what a twist! I, I think I mentioned that I thought that was the case with me once. Mm. Yeah, interesting. I mm. thought about that. I was like, Ooh, I wonder if that's why my mom left. Close Found episode me. forty: the case of Lee Noble. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Like Barnaby Jones, the puzzle pieces. Barnaby Jones is going to be a crossover special. Barnaby. Well, Buddy Epson's dead, so. They're gonna exhume. Can we CGI him? Can we do like 3D Buddy Epps in like Tupac? Yeah. That would be cool. Have some Phil I mean, Donahue shit. Nobody sees us anyways, so we can just... Somebody just pretend the voice and we're good to go. James L. Jones, you think he'll do the narration for us? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. That would be cool. I don't know. He has another Star Wars coming up, you know. He has to do some Star Wars stuff. And Lion King stuff. I don't think so. Isn't that... Didn't he do that already? I don't know, probably. Uh, was he in this Lion King? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, how could you not? I don't know. That's impossible. You can't do it without. That's impossible. So these two cousins, they mended each other's clothes. They ate rice, giggled it up. <laughs> Parents are moved by this uh, kind of cringy romantic gesture, and uh, they finally gave their blessing because. I, I let me correct myself. The, the girl's parents refused this, right? Yeah, it was the yeah. girl. Girl's parents refused this. She didn't want anybody else, so she wanted some cousin. Okay, so yeah, they just mended each other's clothes because you know why were their clothes all torn up? I don't know from hmm. ripping them off of each other, perhaps. Oof. Jeez, man, these cousins are fucking intense. Is it more than kissing? I only have two sets of clothes. And these are first cousins, so there could be some uh, lopsided heads coming out, you know, in the world. Hmm. So this meal That's called the, it's, it means a hidden meal. It's uh, what? God Liangle? Yeah. God Liangle. God Liangle. Godly angels. Got it. Godly angels. God Liangle. God Liangle. It means hidden meal. And... Uh, it was uh, translated to sister's meal in Chinese. Oh. I mean, uh, you know, I, I get a good meal. That's that's like a good way to, to win someone over. You cook them a meal. Yeah, I put Give me that snacks. color rice. Give me them fruity pebble rice. Had a Tinder date once. Yeah. Made swordfish. Ooh. Who made it? You did? I did. I nice. Did. With like, I made my own peel off. It's a power move. Totally got laid. I, totally got laid. I believe it. It's the swordfish. Never saw her again. Cool. It was great. You know? She just wanted the swordfish. She even did dishes. Oh, my God. Swordfish was that good. That's my favorite. I was not. I was already asleep. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. I might have not even got laid. I, it was a big piece of swordfish. I might have fallen asleep. You may have had a dream. It was a dream. It was oh, a no. dream. I didn't get. Psych. I didn't get laid. I got lifted. My wallet was gone. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, wrong yeah. hell. And she took the rest of the food out of the fridge. Oh, wow. Well, well she had kids to feed. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. She even took the chutney. And no, yeah, that chutney was like seven years old, man. That was like one of, you know, those fridge carryovers from yeah. like when you move. Sure. You know, every couple <laughs> of years. Uh, yeah, you moved, you know, a few times. And yeah, I had some, uh, like. What's the expiration date? It doesn't have one on there. It means it doesn't expire. It's good. <laughs> Some fucking like it's like chili sauce that shit never expires. Like some hipster ketchup, you know, like uh, it's made with know, good intentions. It small, doesn't expire. Small batch, single tomato <laughs> ketchup, <laughs> single, single origin, lightly brewed with a kombucha twist. You know, you're like, wait a minute, I, I've heard it's a Paul Robeson tomato. It's actually pretty good, you know. Like I, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. I'm, I, I've well, just been really hooked on bubble ketchup these days. Bubble ketchup. Yeah. Bubble ketchup. That's like bubble tea, but... Ooh, you just kind of boop, boop in yeah. some oil. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw Cranch. I saw some Cranch. Oh, Cranch. Cranch. Yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. That. Bill, that, Bill Oakley. Next to Bay OQ. Yeah. Bay OQ. Bill Oakley. Bill yeah. Oakley. Uh, it's finally in the stores now. Bill Oakley did a review on these. Yeah. Uh, Kraft made these um, mixed sauces, like uh, mayo chup. Which is mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together in one batch. Mm. Uh, mayo, mayo must because mm. mayo tard can't do that. Right. Mayo must, obvious. Uh, and then uh, cranch, mm -hmm. ketchup and ranch. Right. And then their newest one, mayo Q. Mayo and barbecue sauce. I don't have any interest in purchasing these goods. According to Mr. Oakley, because I asked, yeah. he said they're good. He said the uh, mayo must is good. The mayo chup is like a... I don't like ketchup. I fucking hate ketchup. Okay. Okay. So if I see someone put ketchup on a hot dog or their eggs, yeah. I tend to like... Get violent. Yeah, I get violent. Okay. His eyes get red. They bald shit. It's crazy. A friend of mine still has a scar. Sorry about that. The ketchup scar? Yeah. It's like someone... Beautiful omelet. Beautiful mushroom Swiss omelet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without even fucking looking. Ugh. Without even tasting. You don't put ketchup on that. It's a Yankee thing. It's a Yankee thing. I was bringing this up to someone. It's their love of fucking... It's, it's the British love of salty tomato sauce. And the Americans love of sweet. 
And that's what ketchup is because you had to drown your fucking food in, in salty tomato shit to make it taste good. I'm sorry. I love ketchup with fries. Maybe fries sometimes. I do it sometimes, but I like vinegar or I just like them plain. I'm, I'm, Hot I'm, dogs or mustard? Yeah, mustard. Mustard, sauerkraut, some kraut, beans. Maybe some onions. Chopped onions. Yeah, right. We're getting off here. I'm getting hungry now. I keep talking about fucking food. It's because hard. some of the highlights of I, the. I don't uh, fuck food. You fuck food. <laughs> I, well, maybe I do. Oh, food fucker. Ooh. But. New fetish American next. Pie. Not, it's not only food at the godly or gadling liangal. It's uh, it's it's a bunch of shit that they they kind of hand out, and uh, it's like after the celebration, uh, the women they wrap their rice in a handkerchief, give it to the men as gifts, different meanings inside, Ooh. and uh, it's a cipher. It's a cipher. The men have to figure out what the women want in return. I feel bad for the first guys that had to figure it out, and from <laughs> ChinaHighlights.com. Uh, it gave us a little list of what, what some of this shit means. Okay, so imagine you get a handkerchief with this colorful rice. Love it. In it, it's pine needles. I don't think I want to eat the rice anymore. Mm, well, maybe. Well, Could, well, well, what's the meaning? What's that mean? Tell me. You got to find out. No. Actually, it's uh, men should give needles in yarn. Oh. Like pine needles. Get it, you know, needle. Oh, needles. That's yeah. like that's like a magic eight ball. Try again. Yeah. So let's we'll see if you can guess the other ones. So a bamboo hook. What would a bamboo hook? She's a hooker. That's easy. Uh, no. Uh, give me some food. Go fishing. Give me some food. Right, uh, Kevin. You're very wrong. Uh, and Damn. you're you're also extremely wrong. It's oh. uh, give women umbrellas because uh, women may want to contact them. See, this makes sense because this makes sense with the communication between men and women sometimes. They can't communicate exactly what they want. They right. Want, they want to give you riddles. Right. They want to give you riddles and fucking guessing games. Right. But you've seen the movie What Women Want. If you could read people's minds, anyone's minds, you go fucking crazy. So yeah. it's kind of fun, the guessing game, until it's not. Chinese parsley. If I handed you a bunch of Chinese parsley, what would you want? What would I want from you? Some American brisket. Kevin, I'm going to give you some some of my colorful rice. Yeah. I'm going to use lavender. I'm going to use burnt sienna. Yeah, I'm going to find a crayon. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use... That's racist. I'm going to use um, the blackening color on yeah. my rice. So it'll okay. be a little bit black. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to just give you a bunch of Chinese parsley in it. Okay. What do you think I want from you? The parsley means the presentation matters to you, so you want to see me dressed up in a nicer suit next time that we go on a date together. I'd actually like to see you in a tuxedo because I want to get married. Tuxedo mask. I knew it. Oh, tuxedo man. I don't know any of the Sailor Moon stuff. I just know that like they throw their batons and shit in the air, right? You say you don't know about it, but you picked up on that reference pretty well. I did. Damn it. <laughs> I watched it. Yes. Over and over again. I didn't like Tuxedo Mask because it wasn't me. Right. I like Bubblegum Crisis. I used to like Rainbow Bright. I thought she was cute. So I don't care. No one's seen Bubblegum Crisis? Oh, I've seen no. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Apple seed. Oh, shut up stuff. now. So rice and cotton. What would, what would you think if I handed you a bundle of rice and cotton, Lee Noble? I would, I would say that you're caught between your culture and mine. You don't know whether you can keep on with your racist shit giving me cotton as a joke, as a ha-ha. Nope. Nope. It, it means that uh, the woman miss. I miss you, man. Oh, she misses me? Yeah. So if I gave you my oh, colorful shit. rice and cotton, it means I miss you. Oh, man. I fucked up out. on my last date. She was, she was from Meow. She was Meow. She was seriously me out. I'm telling you. Now, what if I? What about a, a bundle of cotton and Chinese parsley together, with rice, with the colorful rice? She misses you and wants to eat takeout with you. Close forever. Cl very close. Yeah, she wants to get married right away. Boom, done. Just get married. Like in ten minutes. Like, like there. That's like, where I come in. Like, like when's the <laughs> when, when's the wedding list going to be made? Me. I'm what just like. I'm ordained, you're married, and then that's it. Done. Yeah, there's already a so whole you just, party of you people. You just throw there, your right? hand out like your fucking homeboy's dad and the yeah, man I, of steel. You know, it's... Hold it's, it, don't get me. I'm, I'm, it's more like, a, you know, the wrist slightly cocked because I'm, I'm, I'm putting my power out. 
you know, like a, like kind of like a minister would on TV. Your hand looks like Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You're, 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 doing, doing. you're doing lightning. I'm doing marriage lightning. He's doing marriage lightning. It's, it's lightning oh, marriage. You're linking them together with that. <laughs> right. I'm killing them by getting them married. Oh. Yeah. See. You kill see. the single ones. Kill the single ones. Merge into one. So. Cronenberg shit. Say say the <laughs> say the lady you come up to, you like her. Mm-hmm. You sing those stupid ass songs. She <laughs> hands you a moving bundle with rice in it, and there's a duck inside. What would <laughs> what would she be telling you? <laughs> is, there, is there a live? Is it live? Duck? It's alive. I say, yeah, it's a wriggling package, and then you open it. It's a, it's a fucking duck in there. Yeah. <laughs> She's telling you she has secrets because we have no idea where she's been hiding a live duck the whole time. It's actually, uh, she wants you to give her a piglet. And then you guys can eat it next year. You raise it together. It's like future farmers of America. What the fuck do I do with the duck? Well. Do I have to eat that by myself? Do you raise it? Where are the instructions? I, I'm the instructions are unclear. Do you have the rule book? The duck is expendable <laughs> at this point. You Mikey can, be asking for the rule book. You can just kind of, <laughs> you can just kind of fling the duck away. It'll fly somewhere. Duck flinger. And then finally, uh, what would pepper and garlic with your rice be? It would probably be a delicious meal. Yeah. Oh, uh, brush your like teeth, bitch. She's got the brand new flavor for my life. Lenovo, you're pretty close. Uh, yeah, it means she doesn't want any contact with that guy. Uh, like, you know finally, what? Finally, I get one right. You did it. I got one Go eat right. your pepper. Go eat your garlic. Get the fuck out of here with your stinky-ass breath. Hey, you might as well eat this because you ain't going to be talking to nobody that don't give a fuck. Later. That's a pretty good parting gift, though. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. <laughs> you know, I've had worse gifts. Shit, dude. I wanted to make some curry tonight, too. Nice. nice. She gave me pepper and garlic. That's yeah, a double shit. fuck you, and that's a double thank you. All for me. All, f- There's no all for me. There's no sharing at this time. Yeah. See, if she was paying attention, she would realize that I'm cooked. There's got to be some dude out there that's just, like, raking in the rice every year. Yeah. You know, he's just like, nice. You got fucking enough. Gar- I have to go to the store for garlic for months. <laughs> Pig farmers always getting live ducks, though. Because that doesn't say anything other than, you know. Just bring it, you know, take this piglet. I mean, I guess raising the pig together would be some kind of dating thing. You know, you'd have to stick together. They're not raising it together. You have to. No, they can't. Well, then, you know, the guy just, no, the man has to give the piglet to a woman, so she has to raise it all alone? She's raising it by herself. Is that the way they, is that the same thing with kids? She's giving, she's giving the duck. She's giving the duck so you can have eggs. So you give them like a little human piglet and you just take off for a year. Yeah. Let's take off for you. See how you thrive with this pig. Let's see how big the pig would get. It's oh. like the flower sack thing when you're in school. Just, oh, right, right. Alive. Yeah. Right, don't leave it anywhere. We'll see it Bust it open, you yeah. lose. Because it's going to take six months to walk there and back. He's just going back to take a shit and go back and walk six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, you know, this is like the dating game from hell. Yeah. But it's it's actual people's lives. And, and like Lee said, you know, the younger generation doesn't really jive. Chuck Woolery. Chuck Woolery. We'll be back in two and two. And Mega, because I'm Chuck Woolery. I don't like black people. That's Chuck Woolery. That motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I don't like Chuck Woolery. Screw you. Fuck off. So I've been thinking about this. Yeah. And I think I came up with a better name for it. Okay. Um. So it's the Meow People, right? Yeah. Can we call it the Meow Mix? Oh, nice. No I, more sisters I, you know dinner. What? I think we're going to have to submit that. We're going to have to submit that from consideration. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that's how we make it more popular. With submit these. it to the committee of the meow. I'm, meow, I'm, meow committee. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go write a letter to the consulate. Okay. I'm going to ask them, you know, for the younger generation, for them to be more in tune, mm-hmm. in tune with this, they got to be, you know, the cooler name. So, yeah, Meow Mix. Yep. Boom. Boom. And the and Meow the, Mixer. We already got the commercial. Meow, meow, meow. You know, we could steal that. Yeah, no it's problem. It's fine. It's fine. Because it's a different country. Yeah. Taiwan don't even know the difference. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. We'll see if we can... So you're going to mail a letter in? I am. What Handwritten. will you be including in the envelope? Cause... Picture of myself. Okay. Um, Like a... I don't know, like a coupon to like somewhere here. I okay. got even better. Here, I got a better one for you. A uh, used Dove. Open Dove wrapper. Okay. That. A uh, thumbtack and a staple. What does that mean? Hmm? What is, is there a meaning behind all of it? It is. 
You have to figure out for the next episode when we follow up. Oh, we have homework. I'm going to send it in. I'm going to do it. I've been contemplating it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send that to the committee and um, see what they think. It, okay. And then Lee Noble disappears because he just made, like, the first act of war. <laughs> he sent, like, the code, you know, like, I want to pin your ass to the wall. Well, it looks like, like... Okay. Oh, jeez. Hey, Had enough of this guy. Looks like I'm going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to record some extra episodes ahead of time then. <clears throat> just right. to be pre, pre, you know, preemptive. Right. And then you're going to want to start looking for a replacement. So I'll help you with interviews. Okay. I, I've got Perfect. a few people in mind. Uh, for these interviews, I vote that we make them musical interviews. So yeah, I'm definitely. really on board with that idea. Definitely. How did you know I was going to do that? See, this, this is why, I'm, why I know I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah. Hopefully you'll miss me too. Well, Kevin will be into... Uh, orchestrating these musical interviews it'd be great yeah it's cool i'll be uh just the conductor in the corner yeah we'll talk about that after the show wait, wait you said conductor and coroner yes both yeah he he oh, oh. gets dark it's the blackening multi-talented okay. multi-faceted that's not just because of me that's because right the blackening the blackening yeah. is it's a whole other thing like get your no, mind I, out I of think, the i think mine be the darkening because it's lights out it's get, get your mind out of the cigarette's gutter the blackening has nothing mm-hmm. to do with anything like that right, good, the blackening good. is about throwing soot out of my bagpipes that's my blackening why do we have to talk about your colonics? I, listen, man. What I do with my colonics is my business and whoever gets it on them. So I'm, I'm going to work. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on this. Try, you know, and, and, and everybody out there is dating now. Mm-hmm. You're having a bad time. It, it might not get better. That's all I'm going to say because sometimes it doesn't. It might. It for might. Like, for like a hot minute. For and a hot minute. And sometimes it really doesn't. And sometimes it does. Sometimes you'll find somebody nice. Stay away from the bars. It's not fun. You know, if you have any other good dating ideas or advice, you know, just, or anything at all, just hit us up. Info at weirdandweary.com. Or uh, Twitter, Instagram. I think Facebook. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we're everywhere. We're all those places. Everywhere. Everywhere and nowhere all at once. You know, uh, we, we're not looking for a date. But maybe you could tell us about some some weird dates you've been on, or or weary ones. I don't know. You know, whatever, whatever, anything you want to give us. Yeah. Info at weirdandweary dot com. I'm gonna go uh, puff my lungs up a little bit before my second blackening of the blackening. day. Blackening. Wait. Is that the song from Doom? Put my bagpipe down, man. That's my electric bagpipe. You can't play with that. Oh, look the blackening! <laughs> blackening! It's over! <laughs> this date is over! <laughs> blackening presented by Jason Alderson, Kevin Whitehead, <laughs> and Lee Noble himself. Be good to yourselves, be good to everyone. I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. And I'm Lee. And I'm doing the blackening. <laughs> All day long, I'm doing the blackening. Until I get another date. Is it working? No. No. Actually, there's a lot of soot on your porch. And... That's okay. I needed a pressure washer anyway. Oh, cool. More incentive to get one. Excellent. Uh, we have them at Sears. Those are still kicking around, right? Sure. There's one in, like, Utica, I think. <laughs> That's fine. Real trip. Blackening. JKL Mania. Jekyll.